-hmm. And then this has to be then what, Trevor? Um, plus six. Exactly. So the Roman numeral is going to be? Oh, gosh. Six. Exactly. So there we go. Yes. Now, does everybody see this? Mm -hmm. This is this is your methodology. You go up and over, up and over. In this case, we didn't have to go up and over. We just canceled. Are we okay with that? It took like three, two classes to explain that. And I didn't get it. And you just... <laughs> like 20, yeah, no, like 10 yeah. minutes. Okay. It's amazing. All right. So we have one more level of complexity. I it's, you it's, comment, right? it's amazing yeah. that she had bad. What you have to do? She had bad so far. Yeah. It's more of an she was, get, she was getting mad at us today. We were doing like this lab thing, and she was getting mad at us oh, because she wanted so us to like great. take yeah, these little like I don't even know these little cards, like figure everything out. We were just doing it right there on the paper. She's like. No, you have to do it she, with the cards and yeah, there's two, she has two of them that are connected and one of them's the lab and she kept on pulling kids out and the, the, the door was open and yelling at the kids and then we'd all just hear that like it was just one by one and right, pulling well, that's a good pedagogical technique. <laughs> yeah. Alright, are you guys are you guys ready for the hardest one? Yeah. 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 The, the first the first two were okay, right? And then these two were like, Oh, I think I get it. Are you guys ready for the last one? No. Come on, Ben, play with yeah, me. Alright, here we go. Play the game. So now Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> but now, so it's the same wrong. technique with one extra move. We're going to go up, <laughs> we're going to go up, we're going to go over, and then we're going to go back down. Oh, well, it's only one more move, guys. I get it, I get it. We're going to go up, over, can you like, stay with me? One more move, down. Okay, I know it's a toughie. All right, so watch. Each oxygen is minus two, correct? Yeah. Uh -huh. So our total neg is? Six. six. So our total neg is neg six. And therefore our total pause six. has to be? Six. Plus six. Now, we went over, we went up and over, but now, we now we've got uh, almost D. D. What, what, what letter starts with down? D. 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 So if you're going to go down, you D. Divide. So three. six <laughs> divided by two three. is? Three. three. Yes. So it's plus three. Pop the bubbles. And then this is going to be iron, three oxide. Is everybody with me? No. Could you try? I mean, for this one. Jen just for this one. Just for this one. No. Jen's good. Jen saw a hidden pattern there. She said, why not reverse flop? If we can flip flop and drop, why not just reverse flop? And it doesn't always work, but it does work this time. Good call. Oh, sweet. Whoa. So, I'm so surprised and like pleasantly surprised by Street Fish. Yeah. yeah, she's got that street spread going on. Okay, yeah. Jamaican street fish. All right, so watch, guys, if you still haven't got it, I want you to see it in more detail. And then we're just going to go back and, and do it again like this. But here's what's really happening. I've got two FEs, correct? Mm -hmm. And I've got three oxygens. Okay. If I got three oxygens, a total of minus six, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I've got to have a total of plus six for the irons. But how many irons are here to share the plus six? Two. Two. So oh. each one is a plus, plus three. three. Plus three, plus three, plus six. Minus two, minus two, minus two, minus, minus six. six. But do we want to do it like this every time? No. 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 The quick way is just to go no. up, over, and down for divide. Wow. If there's a number here, we just divide the total positive by the number on the bottom, and we are home free, and that's it. That's the last level of complexity. Are we good? Uh, want to see one more? Get the yeah. Roman okay. Roman. Um, yeah. To see one more, I want to show you the two exceptions. So, if you have your periodic table open, okay. there's two exceptions here, lead and tin. They're not really trannies, they're kind of pre-ops. Mm -hmm. They're over here, they haven't quite you know, undergone the operation yet, but they're wannabes. So these two guys right here, Iron and tin, they lead act tin, like trannies. Lead. Lead Sorry, tin. lead and tin. PB, good call. PB and SN for tin and lead. These guys act like trannies. So you got to use, you got to include those in the trannies. So if we're doing something with lead, for example, if we had like um, PB, um, PB F3, PB F3, we call that lead. <laughs> But because it's a tranny, we'd have to put a Roman numeral on and tell you the ch ch charge. charge. So this is going to be lead what chloride? Roman numeral what? Ryan, what's the Roman numeral on this guy? Um, 
Two-thirds of the time, John, it'll work, but the one-third, when it yeah. won't, will mess with you. And that's okay. when it'll be on the test. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay, so those two in the four column are two. always plus three. No, these two over here, they're training, so they're plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five, plus six. We don't know. So that's why we have to count them as trannies. In other words, they have to take up, they take your charge depending on who they're hooked up with. So we have to figure out what the total charge is negatively, and that will be their total positive charge. But how do we know what to divide for PV? Well, there's nothing here. We only divide so if, there's, if there's a 2 or a 3 down there, and there's nothing there. So it's, the answer is just what's ever up here. You got it? Yeah. Okay, so we go up and over and stop. The only, th the only time we go down is when there's something here. Yes? Um, in, like, the columns over here by the metalloids, yes. are the... Ones underneath oh, the staircase, are those trannies or are those not? They're kind of indeterminate species. We kind of leave them alone for now, so just deal with them as exceptions, okay? <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so now, are you guys ready for this? It'd be nice if we had like a flow chart to determine whether we're going to type 1, type 2, or type 3. Well. Here it is. Oh, Whoa. Wow. Blind blow. A flow chart. We like wrote you. it. She made us write this down. What's that? That's what this is. Yes. This is your flow chart that tells you how to analyze the compounds and name them correctly. Okay. okay. Everybody got it? Okay, here we go. So here's your analysis. Let's take this let's take this example. Let's say we're doing A L and O. Okay, stay with me. Guys, everybody with me? We're going to do ALO. First thing is, first thing is, let's flip flop and drop the charges. Minus two plus three, we get AL2O3. So the first question is, whoa. Yeah, yeah, don't bother. She's trying to concentrate. If we're trying to name this tune, here's what you do first. You look at the first element. First element. Does the compound begin with a metal? Yes. 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 If yes, you go over here. It's ionic. If it doesn't start with a metal, you go over here, it's covalent. Everybody with me so far? Yeah. Okay, then if it's ionic, it could be a regular metal or a tranny. It's a tranny. Well, so you have to look over here. AL is not a tranny. AL is not a tranny. AL is right up here. Plus three. Yeah, it's a plus three. Yeah. So it's not a tranny. So you just say the name with no subscripts. Remember, metals never say die or try or tetra. They just nope. shut up. So that's my little point down here. If it's a regular metal, what do you do? Shut up. Shut up. You don't say di, tri, or tetra. So look at my examples down here. Everybody see the first one, NAF. So that's going to be called what? <coughs> Sodium <coughs> fluoride. Good. The next one is going to be BACL2, called what? Barium chloride. Barium chloride. Next one, Al2O3 we just did, it's going to be called aluminum oxide. Okay, now skip the last three. Question? Yeah, well, I have a question on the last Yeah, we'll come, we'll come back to that in a minute. Those are type four. So we've done type three. Type four are the ones. The last three here are going to be type four. I'll get to those a little later. Now, here's another one. Let's do um, T2O5. Yes. Does it stop at type four? Does, yes. Like there's, there's, a, there's really only there's really no types. Only this book does the types. Well, I mean, this book does types. There's three types, and then calls the fourth type MCC. So I just call it type four. It's really okay. simple. She won't call it type four. She won't call it anything. Oh, okay. But that's I call it type four, so I can distinguish it. They're gonna go one, two, three. Why didn't they go four? Yeah. Like pretty stupid. Anyway, now we're gonna do this compound. 
Ridiculous. So, Bonkers. Jack, what's the analysis here? The analysis of that one? Yeah, what do you do first? Um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to go up. No, you're going to want to flip it. No, all we're going to do, Ooh. we're going to try and name this guy. What's the first step here? Step number one. Oh, dog. a metal or a non-metal. <laughs> exactly. Is it a metal or a non-metal? Um, non-metal. You look in the periodic table and it turns out to be up in the non-metal category. Step number two, if it's a non-metal, what do you do? Then it's going to be what kind of compound? Covalent. Covalent. And then if it's covalent, do you have to say the subscripts? Uh-huh. Yeah. So therefore say it. What's it going to be? Uh, it's going to be diphosphorus um, pentoxide. Good. Diphosphorus, not diphosphide. The positive ones say their name? The first one says his name, diphosphorus. I won't say positive. The first guy says his name, diphosphorus, pent oxide. Everybody okay with that? Yeah. Okay, here's another one. Um, look on right under here. Um, what about N205? So, Reese, can you name that tune, N205? Um, di nitro. Nitro, wait, is it nitride? No, it's nitro, it just says his name. Nitro, Dinitrogen. Um, pentoxide. Good, exactly. Next one, Carolyn. SBR2, what's the analysis? Is S a metal or a non-metal? Non-metal. So therefore, you... Just say name. Yep, so... Sulfur dibromide. Good, sulfur dibromide. Allie, next one, PF3, is P a non-metal? Yes, it is. Therefore? It's phosphorus. Right exactly. And the last one, Trevor, is C a non-metal? C? Yes. Carbon? Yes. Good. So how are you going to name it? What are we looking? Right here. CCL4? Okay. Under covalent. Um, it is um, carbon, what is it? Tetra chloride. Chloride, exactly. Chloride. Carbon tetra